Hi, I'm Travis Perry with CordBuddy.com, and what we want to talk about right now is the installation process to make sure you get the Chord Buddy installed on your guitar properly. No matter what you do in life, if it's a swing set or, or whatever, if you don't install it properly, it won't work properly. So we want to make sure that you get the Chord Buddy installed properly. When you take it out of your package, you want to unscrew this screw right here and you want to slide this collar back. This collar right here move, is movable and it's what tightens up with this screw to tighten up to the side of your guitar neck, okay? So you want to pull, you want to unscrew this as far out. Now if it comes out just like it did, no problems, put it right back on and just screw the screw back in. But the point is, is if it's this tight, it won't go on. So you want to pull it back. All right, what I want to explain now is the under part of the cord buddy and some things you need to be aware of. If you'll see this little clear tab that I'm pointing at with the end of my pen, and I'm going to turn it a little bit so that you can see that, that rib. We call that a rib, actually, not a tab. Uh, this, then there's one on this side, and there's one just like it on this other side. Okay, the importance of this, this sits on top of the fretboard on top of the fretboard and not on the side of the neck. If this happens to you put it on the side of the neck, it will not play properly. So this sets just outside the little string, which is an E, and the big string, which is also an E, just right beside it on top of the fretboard. Okay? Now I'm going to show you how to put it on the guitar neck. So we're going to go down to the guitar neck. Make sure that your, your uh, collar is, is back so you've got enough room to sit it on. Get the left side on first. Make sure that you're sitting on top of the neck and then go ahead and rest it over so that the other rib is sitting on top of the neck. At this point, push your collar in. Just push it in and it should stay. Now, what I want to point out here is if you if, go ahead and slide this back till it till your rib till your ribs hits the uh, the nut, and the nut is what the strings these strings ride over. Okay, if you look right here where I'm pointing now, you've got about a quarter of an inch from this third fret. These metal things are called frets, so you count up one, two, three. You've got about a quarter to a half of an inch here to make it play its best. Go ahead and scoot it down just a little bit on your guitar so that this tab, this rubber gray booty, when you press down the blue button, hits just behind the third fret. Not on top of it and for sure not in front of it because that would be playing a totally different chord than a G chord. So press it down and test it. Make sure that it's hitting just behind the third fret. At this point, tighten up the screw. Go ahead and get it as tight as you can get it with your fingers. Don't get a, uh, a uh, vice grips or a pair of pliers, but get it as tight as you can get it with your fingers. Then I can just press this blue button down. As you've just heard, it's playing a perfect chord. Playing a perfect D chord, perfect G chord. I'm going to tilt the guitar up and show you the proper angle. Okay, if you'll notice here, let me get a black background behind that, maybe you can see it a little better. There's a little upward angle from here to here. The, you've got an upward angle off of the strings. The purpose for this is as, the, as you strum your guitar, the strings will go in a circular fashion and they get a wider path down here. So you don't want the string to hit the bottom of this rubber booty because it will cause it to buzz. All right? So make sure you have a slightward upward angle. Now I'm going to purposely, I'm going to purposely tilt it down just a little bit. I'm going to make it the way you don't want it. See how it's flat now? What's happened, you've pulled this back rib up so it's not resting on the fretboard. Now it will probably hear that buzz. That's the sound you don't want. 
If that happens to you, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and reseat it on the back by tilting this back part down to give you that proper upward angle. And as you can hear, it is playing perfectly again. And that's, uh, that's your proper angle. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to, going to play it. Okay, we now have the chord buddy properly installed on the neck. We've got it very as tight as we can get it with our fingers. We've got the proper upward angle coming down, and we've got the rib sitting on top of the fretboard and not on the side of the neck. We've got, when we tested it, it was just barely behind the third fret, not on top of the third fret and not ahead of it, okay? Now I'm just going to play, run through the chords. Let's check it. Perfect G chord. A perfect D chord. The yellow is E minor. Perfect D minor. And then your uh, green is your C. A perfect C chord. So. As you can see, with proper installation, the chord buddy will play as it's designed to play, will not buzz out on you and have any extra noise that you don't want. We will be having other videos coming forth that we want you to tune into. We'll have some lesson plans and whatnot. I'm Travis Perry with ChordBuddy.com.